Yeah. Um, thank you all for joining us again today. We're back. Yes. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Sorry for the delay. Yeah. Uh, holidays. <laughs> they always they always take it out of us. Yes. Um, I'm Tanika. I'm Mary. And you can find me at uh, on Instagram at Tanika Knits Two. That's Tanika at Tanika Knits and the number two. Mary Knits Two. On Instagram. Yes. And then on Ravelry, you can find me at Tanika2. And uh, you can also email us at sipknittravel at gmail.com. So yes. if you have any questions or want to reach out, yeah. you can email us there or find us on Instagram. Correct. Or Ravelry because she does also have a Ravelry <laughs> uh, name. But I'll put that on the bottom of the screen. Yes, but it's also in our first episode, I believe. We Second. actually... Okay. Our second episode. It's the last one. Yes, the last episode. See, it's been a minute, guys. We missed you. Yeah, we yeah. have missed you. <laughs> um, so this is the place where we like to sip. Sip. Cheers. Cheers. Love to knit. That's delicious. It is. Love to knit. And, and love travel. travel. Yeah. So, so what are we drinking today? Um, I think you called it a Palm Beach. Yes. So she's correct. I did, um, while looking through my book, um, I have a bunch of bartender books because, you know, it was once a dream. Um, I found this recipe and it looked really good. And so I was drinking it and, you know, me and Sneeka got to talking. And so we decided to have it today. And basically it's a uh, gin, rum, and we actually and changed pineapple juice. pineapple juice, but we changed the recipe a bit and we added a cherry. Um, also, so Tanika's going to talk a little bit about the rum and gin that we chose. Well, so Mary actually picked the gin, or the rum, I'm sorry, the rum. Okay, because uh, we picked white rum uh, to show the pineapple juice a little bit more. Yeah. And it, the rum we use is overproof Jamaican rum. <laughs> and it's, they really know how to do rum. <laughs> it's delicious. It is really um, good. <laughs> and then for the gin, mm -hmm. we used Plymouth gin because mm -hmm. it was a milder gin. Um, and so with that, it, it also highlights the flavor of the pineapple juice a little bit more. So that's exactly. the reason we chose that specific gin. Otherwise, I probably would have used Sapphire gin. Um, that's my normal go-to. Or Hendrix, but Hendrix also pretty mild. And just FYI, we don't get paid by any of these people. This is just kind of what we like. But yeah. the pineapple juice is obviously what gives it this color. Um, and the cherry at the bottom. And the cherry at the bottom, which you can see but um there's more so please watch our video yep. we actually show you the ingredients and we show you how to make it so tune in for that yep we'll show it at the end of this uh video yes. we'll have a video up of that yes yes so, so please join us for a little aperitif yep and the recipe didn't say specifically which gin or rum to use so we just picked those for those reasons you'll find that we usually wing it and kind of you know, adopt it to our taste, so. Recipes too. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Again. You like what you like, you know? And no one can really tell you that. You just kind of fall into it. Yep. Uh, yeah. All right, so we want to get into some of the knits. Knitting oh, time. Since we talked about our sips, please grab your drink. Come oh, and join yes. us as we talk about our knits. Whatever you're drinking. And cheers again. To you. We are feeling good in this new year, if you can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> Happy 2021. Yes! Oh my goodness, so many yeah. good things. We're not going to go into my list, but you know, we're already right. starting off good. We are. So let's start getting into acquisitions. Acquisitions. All right, so new things that we got, uh, we've acquired, we've received. Yes. I signed up for More Thunder. She's at More Thunder on Instagram. I believe her first name's Morgan. Um... Uh, she had a sweater knitting class on um, her site, and she said if you sign up, you get an entry into a surprise to where you can win some things. And so I signed up for the class in December because I want to learn how to make sweaters, and I'd like somebody to show me so when I do it, I can hopefully do it right the first time or maybe the second or the third. But <laughs> Hopefully it won't take like 30 times. <laughs> um, and anyways, I won a prize. And so with that, I won six skeins of Lion Brand yeah. yarn. And I believe the colorway was like turquoise. But on here, 
they have like a number and it's lot number 616253. Let me see if I can see a color. But I didn't see a color listed on there. But when I looked at it, it said turquoise, but it's more of like a turquoisey blue kind of colorway. You can see it's really pretty um, and it's 100% wool. Yeah, you're it's really soft and I feel like I can make babies, baby blankets, baby things out of this. I owe quite a few friends some baby items. So, I mean, this yarn will definitely go a long way for me. So, I'm happy about that. Um, also, I recently purchased uh, Hoagy Locatelli. She had uh, her shop update a while ago and it was for interchangeable needle cases. And so I bought this one. And I love it. It's yeah. just in the brown leather. And I mean, it's got the snaps. You can open it. I have chow goo needles in here and I have the red lace. <laughs> I think we talked about our love for chow goo yeah. needles last time too. But so. it has a zipper at the bottom and there's two pouches. And so, I mean, I just love this case. I take it with me everywhere and it's, it's just so pretty, so. Uh, those are some of the things I got. Mary, you want to talk about your acquisition? Um, so as you guys know from the last episode, I'm not purchasing things, but I did get gifts, you know, so I always love those. Those are awesome. And so um, what I got from Tanika, and she can expound on this, but I got... Go ahead. So she has. <laughs> I also got some myself. Why can't I do sock blockers? Well, I okay. also I was gonna say while she's looking. Right. So I, oh, go ahead. I also got one up here myself. Yes. Um, so technically, I got it for us for Christmas. Awesome. They didn't come until like last week. But um, they are wooden sock blockers. I got them off of Etsy. It's a person. Her name is Vicky. Uh, she's out Shout of, out to Vicky. she's out of, I think, Ukraine, but on Etsy, her shop name is D19 Eco Friendly Life. I actually heard about her shop from Kay, the crazy sock lady, and I saw the sock blockers. I loved them, so I had to go get some, but what I did love about them is that on the feet, you can actually put it to your size, and then you could change it, so when you're actually blocking your socks or someone else's socks, I mean, it'll block to their specific size. And so that's what I loved about these. So, so that's any size foot. Yep. And so I had to not only get myself one, I had to get her a pair. Because well. she knew I would whine. And I wouldn't hear the end of it. <laughs> that's so. so true. That's yeah. so true. So um, I'll definitely put it up on the bottom of the screen where I got it from. Yeah, but they're super cute. They're and of really course, cute. you get a set. And uh, yeah, and since she was a bit delayed on sending it, I mean, she was very responsive, really nice. Um, she apologized for the delay, and she also sent me a couple of extra stitch markers, like wooden stitch markers, which are adorable, um, just as a sorry and a thank you. So, super cute. We got a little froggy here, if you can see that, super cute. Got a little panda, little panda sock, and we got a little bird. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So, yep, that's about all that we got. Um, those are all of our acquisitions. Yeah. Do we want to go into finished objects? <laughs> how's that? Uh, how's that? How's that sweater doing, Mary? So I knew she was gonna bring this up. And some of you might be wondering, because last episode I discussed how on my <laughs> sweater, um, yes, the, what is it called again? The, the Spellman sweater? Spellman sweater. Oh my goodness, I don't know why. By Tristan Molina. It is by Tristan Molina. Shout out to her. She's awesome. We love her. And I love this sweater, and I still love this sweater, but... I didn't finish, guys, okay? <laughs> and I'm still working on it. It's still one of my whips, and we'll get to that later. But back to the subject, she asked about finished projects. So while I didn't finish the sweater, I did, um, both me and Tanika, we got, it was the 2020 Advent for socks, and it's by thecozyknitter.com. 
and we'll put that right there too. Yep. You can see that. And I'll actually link her shop below and I'll have her Instagram on the screen as well and contact information. Yes, and so basically the thing with these socks is super cool, super awesome, and I'll show you in a second, but you basically got um, some yarn and basically each day you knitted a different color. And so through December, uh, you, you had a different color every day and you did two socks at a time. So by the end of December, you have a pair of socks. And so that was really fun, it was really awesome. And so that's kind of what took some of my sweater time, if you will. But, and of course I'm using my sock blocker, but this is like the finished product. And so this is my finished sock. And of course I have a pair, but um, it was just really cool. Yeah guys, she finished a full <laughs> pair. I know, right? <laughs> I finished something, yay for me. Oh, you know what? Cheers to me. <laughs> Always a reason to celebrate. But anyway, you can see. So for me, this is the first time I generally do toe up socks but my sister like raves about top down. So I tried top down. I gotta say I'm still a toe up chick, but it was a great experience. I, I don't discount it. I think the reason I love toe up is because I feel like you get the more difficult part done first. And if you want like longer socks, it's easier to do it that way. But you know, to each its own, you have your own thing. You do what you love. And, and as long as you love it, keep doing it. But it was really cool because you can see like as the days progressed, the different colors that came to fruition, if you will. So yes, shout out. I love that. It was really fun and really cool to do. Um, yeah, so, so yes, Tamika. So I finished um, my uncle scarf that I showed you all last time. Yeah. I'll put the Looks description really awesome. and the items again below. But uh, I actually finished it. I haven't sent it to him yet. So you'll see the C is right there. And on the other side is the R for his initials. Thanks for that. Um, but like yeah, I've already, <laughs> I've already washed and blocked it. And you wanna describe what that means? No. So washing really is where you get like, there are certain soaps and um, you don't have to use the soap, but I mean, you just basically fill a tub with water and you put some of the soap in there and you basically uh, wash wash the yarn, wash the finished product, and then blocking, I had to learn this myself, basically you can get mats and basically pens, and so after you wash it, then you kind of um, mold or just place the item on there to kind of get the fit that you want and kind of the um, yarn, like the width and the length, you could, it's that time for you to manipulate, I guess, if you will, the um, item. I'm she obviously help, has I'm something to add in. a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Washing, you could just soak it. So you use the soap and you soak it for the I said that. 15 minutes, not wash it though. You yeah, just, I said fill it up with water, you put soap in it. Isn't that washing? Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. And to block it, I just block it flat. So okay. I lay it flat, I do pin it, um, just to make sure it's all straight. But my socks, when I wash and block them, I just let them hang and let them do their own thing. So I don't always pin it because, yeah. You don't have to. Yeah, to each its own. But that is the opportune time to manipulate it if you need to yeah. for whatever reason. Yeah. And I'm going to talk a bit about that later. That's also why I mentioned it um, because I actually have an issue. And so, well, it's not an issue, but it's something that I'll need to work on. Okay. So um, I finished that. And then, um, so I will send this to him after I finish another project, and we'll talk more about that later. I also have a uh, half-finished object right here. It's not finished. We went over my definition last time, I think. But it's half-finished. <laughs> I mean, then it's half-finished. But, but it's one sock is finished. So, <laughs> therefore, it's finished, right? She's, so I'm gonna show you on a sock blocker. <laughs> it's all good though. We're just sharing, so that's all. So this is my grandfather's sock, and I finished that. Um, I finished one, I haven't finished the other one yet, but I will, and I, over Christmas we went to visit him, and so I was able to get his measurements and close the toe and make sure that the sock fit which is why I wasn't able to get it done before Christmas. 
And with that, I'll go ahead and knit it up and then send it to him, hopefully before his birthday. So that's, that's my goal of finishing that. But there are two other items that I did finish officially, both items. There it is. And it sucks. So <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't finish the cozy knitters, so you'll see that later. But I designed my own patterns of socks and uh, they are going to be sent out for test knitting. I just have to actually do the work and finish writing the um, finish. Pattern. Thank you. Finish writing the pattern. I, that word wasn't coming to me. Yeah. Uh, I finished like this one. Sweater. <laughs> so I think I'm going to call this one the road trip socks. I don't know why, but I like it. And so if you could see the yarn, um, I'll have the yarn information below and what I put, but I don't believe that the dyer dyes this yarn anymore. Uh, it was a Vogue Knitting Live colorway from 20, I think 19. Yeah. And when I went on the site, I didn't see them actively dyeing any more yarn, so I'm not really sure. And I actually looked for it because I love that color so much. But it was a specialty, so unfortunately, I'm sorry, you can't, you may not be able to get this color but or yarn from them but um i just love the color and i knit it up and i was like oh let me see what i can do and so i designed this pattern it's a fairly simple four row repeat of socks and this way you could kind of see the pattern a little bit more i did a different color heel and cuff um, but kept the toe the same color as the sock yarn and like i said i think i'm gonna call these my road trip socks and then i have one other pair of socks that I finished, um, and so both both socks are going to be sent out for uh, test knits, and my goal is to get the test knits sent out before this video loads, so <laughs> they should already have them, hopefully. But um, this one is called Infinite Love. The yarn is by Dragon Horde Yarn. I believe she said it was a mold wine colorway, but... I'm not really sure if she's able to dye it or dyeing it again. This was a colorway from a while ago. But anyways, the pattern, it's infinite love because there are hearts along the back. And then in the front, it's a heart on the edge, an infinity sign, and then connected by another heart. And so that's, that's the design for this. And again, I used a different color, uh, heel and toe instead of the cuff. Um, but yeah, and so my inspiration for this one was just, you know, a lot of unrest, civil unrest, um, you know, just everybody wanting everybody to love everyone, be open, accepting, um, no matter where you come from, who yeah. you are. So, cause really a diverse is a diverse group or culture is uh, stronger in, yeah. in our view, but yeah. Yeah. And so I, I just, love everybody. I just got the idea and was like infinite love because you know, we, we all just need to love each other and be yeah. kind to one another. Yeah. So do your best. Yeah. So even that's... to your sister. <laughs> right. <laughs> Some days, <Or> guys. <laughs> Some days. <laughs> but those are all my finished objects. Yay. So you got a lot accomplished. Thank you. So hopefully those designs will be up. Inspiration. Someday soon. Yeah. But. We'll, we'll see how it goes and I'll let you all know when it's when it's about to load. Yes. So yay. Yay. Um, all right. So we talked about finished objects. You want to talk about your whip? Yes. <laughs> She's got I'm her own. sorry. <laughs> yes. So you know what? I did discuss the sweater. So I have been knitting. I have been working on it. It just hadn't been my first priority, so I'm gonna break this. We're out gonna real drink quick. every time, take a sip every time she talks about how she hasn't finished the sweater. <laughs> or I could use her definition and say it's basically finished. You know, <laughs> we can one play sock that. was finished. <laughs> we can play that, and the body is basically <laughs> finished. Not the sleeves; it'll just be short sleeve. But <laughs> did you did you do the hem? I mean. It's, it's not finished. My new sweater is called Unfinished. <laughs> Get it by Mary. <laughs> that will be interesting. <laughs> so, sorry. I got a little tied up here with some yarn there. Okay. So, goodness. My caramba. Okay. So, basically, here is 
where you guys met me at, right there, mm -hmm. for my sweater, thank you. And then this is how far I've come. Wow, she's actually come a pretty long way. I'm right, impressed. so I do try to do a couple rows, you know, and as it's the body, it takes a little bit longer um, to get there. I haven't finished the sleeves yet, but I did discuss these bobbles. So um, again, it's not my, my favorite thing to do. However, they look awesome and I think they're totally worth it. And so hopefully I'll get the body done here in a month or so. And then I can wrap up these sleeves. So that's, <laughs> hey guys, just, just be patient with me. It's gonna get done. We're gonna celebrate. I might have two drinks that day. I'll have, you know, the kava or some kind of sparkling something to celebrate that. And then our normal drink. Right. Because <laughs> that's basically fodder. Kidding. But for the yarn, uh, we'll put that information yes. below. And so you'll know everything that she used for that. Right. And, right. We'll and I, we did discuss it previously, but yeah. yeah. And the links to those shops and we'll make sure they're below yes. too. Yes. And again, I love that red. It's awesome. I never get tired of looking at it. It's so, beautiful. And yeah. What, what bag is it in? Goodness, she would ask that. But, and I think we briefly discussed this too. So yeah, we could just talk about we, it. We have a ton of bags. Sorry, I have yarn coming out of it. So yay, yellow fringe bag. French Supply Company, unfortunately, again, they don't make these anymore, so. Limited edition. I love this color. Tanika, I actually wouldn't have found out if it wasn't for her. Um, and go ahead, you you know more about this. So no, we tell. talked about it last time. I was just gonna talk about the bag that it was just in. Yeah, that's, so. that's what I'm keeping my sweater in. So every time you see that sweater, you'll see that bag. And so, um, yeah, I love right. that bag. I still do. I love their bags in general. So I have a couple of them. All right, so my turn for finish or works in progress. Yes, are... Wait. Work in progress. Whips, yes. <laughs> so my cozy knitter socks, because- so Go ahead, I knew this was coming. There's a reason. No, I knew it was reason. coming. Yeah, so the reason that uh, mine aren't mm. done yet- Here we go. Is because somebody was like, oh, I love, first she she starts with the cuff and she's- I don't know who she is. And she's is. not Mary. <laughs> first, Mary starts with the cuff and she's just like, ugh. Oh, the cuff, it's so long, whatever. So then she gets to the <laughs> she gets to the leg and she's knitting, right? We get to the heel. And she's like, Well, can you help me with the heel? So I'm sitting here the trying The heel is like officially the bane of my existence. <laughs> so I'm sitting here trying to think about the best way in my socks. I'm not I wasn't at the heel flap yet. And so instead of working or trying to quickly knit mine to get to the heel flap i was just like well i'll help you with the heel flap so i'll show you on yours how to do it and uh we will well then i'll show you on yours how to do it and then from there uh you could continue on with your sock so <laughs> When I'm starting, I'm like, all right, I showed you on your sock one row and two rows, right? And she's just like, uh, I need to see that again, right? <laughs> I know that it's a ploy that for, for like me to me. basically do the work for her. It doesn't sound And then like me. <laughs> afterwards, she gives me sad face and is like, I mean, like, it would help if you could show me on, like, the heel turn. And I'm just like, uh. So I'm knitting her heel and her heel flap, her heel turn, her gusset. Right? So, she so all of those who want to delegate work. <laughs> she, she technically didn't do the socks herself. She, she may have worked on one sock her, herself. But the other one, I basically did the entire heel. But because I'm of that. Trial. Fake news. That's not fake news. <laughs> Alternative facts? No, they're facts. <laughs> they're facts. <laughs> so because I was doing that, first off, I lost that amount of time. I still had to wait for her to catch up. Oh then God. I lost that amount of time to knit my own socks to then, you know, do my own heel flap. Mm -hmm. And by the time I, I got done with hers, whatever, <laughs> by the time I got done with hers, I was no longer in the mood, right? So I'm behind. That's what I That's said. the whole reason That's what that I'm said. behind, whatever. <laughs> so 
I blame Mary completely for my reasoning as to why I have not yet finished my cozy knitter socks. Why why else have a sibling if you're not gonna blame them for right. things? Right. I you totally know? have to that's, blame her that's for That's what everything. I would say. But I'm close enough to the same. I think I have about Shoot. six six color six different colors to do, and then I'll I should be able to be done with this one. But um in addition to these oh, I, but, but sorry, real quick. So initially it was really fun because when we did this, so obviously we live in two different places, but I mean, and we don't always get to see each other, but we would like FaceTime each other and just kind of knit and talk. And so it was really fun because, you know, we got a little time together and we knitted a color each day. So yeah, so really every, fun. every day we would FaceTime each other and we would yeah. knit one color together. And so we'd sit and knit every day. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, and that actually pretty much lasted until we went on vacation and she yeah. had to heal and, you know, slowed me down. <laughs> but okay. My first time, first <laughs> top down. If it was toe up, I wouldn't have needed help and you wouldn't be using, she wouldn't be using me as an excuse. It would be something different. I'd probably be related though. <laughs> all right. And so my other sock miss socks that I'm, I showed you all last time, I'm still at the heel Flap, I'm mm -hmm. right now, I finished the heel flap, I'll be at the heel turn. I haven't done that yet. Um, but Again, I'm still I, loving this yarn. I do too. But I set that aside because I'm going to fo focus on my cozy knitter socks. Oh. Once I finish those two, then I'll focus on getting that one done and my grandfather's. And then, yeah. So, that's where I'm at. Yay. All right. So, if you can't tell, we've had a really busy, like, sock month. Yeah, although hers are complete, mine are not. <laughs> I mean, I guess I have two, but that's about it. Right, 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 right. Uh, you want to talk about the dad's scarf? Oh, yeah. So, in the past, I had mentioned the scarf that I was knitting for my dad, and I finally remembered it, so I'm excited. And also, that's part of the reason my sweater isn't done, because I wanted to take an opportunity to work on that as well. And it took me a minute to, like, get back in the flow of what I was doing, because, of course, I stopped midway, and so then I had to pick it up. But anyway... So this is the scarf, and it is the Byway Cabled Scarf and Wrap by Jared Flood. And we'll put that information below yes. as well. And so, I don't know. If you wanna. But you basically have the opportunity to do the wrap as well. A little bit closer. It's a beautiful wrap. It is. So the wrap I showed you on the first episode, that's the one I knitted for my mom. And I'm actually, I have one for myself that I'll show much later because that's like down the pike, not even right now. But my dad really liked the pattern. And so he wanted the scarf, not the wrap, of course. And so basically here, here is the um, scarf. And so there's cabling and then he chose this orange color. And the color is, again, with the French. So I'm just gonna put it right there gilet I think something like that and so that's basically what it looks like um and of course let's see it's made in France and the color is Pantamaron put that right there too and so that's the color my dad chose it's like burnt orangish kind of color I thought it was really beautiful really fall like and we'll put that information again. and so what I was referring to with cabling or I'm sorry what is it called where you wash and block wash and block she got there. <laughs> I did. I had to go in my mind palace. <laughs> so anyway, anyway, um, so I started with a, a set of needles and as you can see here at the bottom, it's a little looser and I wasn't really feeling it. And so I, of course, you can see right here where it starts to get snugger. I switched to these smaller needles because I liked the, the tightness a little better. And so I'm just gonna continue up that way. But the issue I'm gonna have is, you know, when it's done, I of course want it to look like one consistent project. And so when I wash and block it, that's when I'll work on fixing it. And so that's kind of also the importance of washing and blocking your work too, in case you have this issue, yeah. which if it looked nice on the wrap with the other needles, but on the scarf, I thought these were better. But I mean, and, and if you have any like usually like little mistakes or things like that, you can usually wash it and block it. Right, but like right. for this, she'll probably stretch out this side so it matches the bottom. Right, but it'll she still and, have the tightness that I like. After she washes it and blocks it so that it'll be even, but probably not pin the bottom. Right, Just right. pin the rest. And it's also so I don't have to like basically rip out all of that and then start over because that's a lot of time. 
I mean, I won't, I'm not mad at that because <laughs> I did that once on my goldfish memory shawl and I miscalculated a one for an 11 and I had to rip back about 18 rows and I cried. Oh yeah, it, it is sad because it's just kind of like all that time is just, and I wouldn't say wasted because you learned something. I did. I learned to but... pay better attention and get closer. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I mean, Whatever I guess lesson you can get out of it. Right. I guess that's something, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I, guess, I guess we're good. So, yes. Yes. Um, my next work in progress yes. is my aunt's cowl that I was talking about that I have have yet to finish. This is beautiful, you guys. Um, so, this is where I'm at so far. And um, it's a bit of color work, but you're usually only working with the two colors and then you go into a single one and then you change the color. And so I really like this pattern. Um, and so once I knit this, I'll have, I'm almost done. I have to get through the gold. I'm almost done with the gray. So I'll get through the gold and then I'll switch to gold and blue. And from that, um, I will then connect the bottom and it'll wrap around like this. And then it'll be, um, I'll have to Kitchener stitch the the, the cowl together. And so um, once I'm done with that, hopefully my goal is by the next episode to be completely done with this cowl and my one pair of the Cozy Knitter socks, Advent socks. Um, and I think I could I could definitely do that. But once I Kitchener this together, then I'll, I'll um, wash and block it as well wrap it up and then I'll send both my aunt's cowl and my uncle's scarf um, to each of them. So not not married, to separate family sides, but I like them to just get them around the same time. So I can't be like, oh, you like me more because you got mine done first. <laughs> um, I like them both the same. <laughs> so yes, um, and the yarn again is the Gilliatt um, or whatever we're gonna call it. And actually, I believe that is one of the colorways. And I'll have them all listed on the screen and I'll have the information below. And I'll also have the pattern um, listed on the screen because for some reason, I, it, it, I don't remember it. And I, I think it's like the Escher, Escher cowl or something. But again, I'll put the information on the screen so you'll have it. And I'll put the link below for the pattern so you can have access to it. But it's a it's a really nice pattern, and this is going to be super, really warm. I want to try to get get it to her as soon as possible because I want her to still be able to enjoy it yeah. in the winter. So, yeah, that's pretty. Thank you. And so, yeah, that's all for that. And you want to talk about your new socks? Oh yes. So. Tanika showed you her socks earlier in this yarn. So I did, I don't want to say it's my usual, but you know, when I really like something, you know, I try to get my mitts on it. So she wasn't using it for anything. So I have what's left of her yarn. I'm so excited. So, I mean, she literally bought a scale <laughs> just so she can measure to weigh the socks. So she can make her own with my yarn. And I honestly right. don't even know if she's going to do my pattern. Well, so, yeah, we'll put a pin in that. But <laughs> I honestly hadn't even chosen a pattern. But, I mean, that's a valid point. <laughs> we can discuss that. We can discuss that. She'll probably be like, eh, you can buy it for me. And I'll be like, whatever, crazy. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I should. <laughs> See, I'm putting ideas in her head. But, no, she wouldn't. She's totally awesome and generous. But so here's the yarn that I love, love, loved. I said that before, but, and maybe you guys can help me because mine's gonna be a slightly, it's gonna be slightly different than hers. Um, she didn't have a different color toe, but whatever I do, I want a different color toe, different color heel, and probably different color cup. So, go ahead. Sorry, and the reason I didn't know is because she had the yarn, but it was, it's called Olive Yarn Dye Company. Got that, yep, there you go. And the colorway is City Lights and Taxi Cabs. Yes. And it was Vogue Knitting Live New York 2019. Yeah. So. Not bad. Memory. Thank 
thank you. I try sometimes. I mean, I lost my bread, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> you can't put that out there and not tell the story now. I, the story is easy. I don't know what I did with the bread. I bought an entire loaf of bread, and I can't find it anywhere in my house. I don't know. I mean, honestly, did I throw it away? I don't think so. But I don't know where it is. Again, not the point. Sorry. It's all good. Yeah, so, so. So here, <laughs> yeah, she's like, I don't know where my bread went. I, I can't find it anywhere. I had it, and then I didn't. <laughs> yeah, start, story of our lives sometimes. I mean, I'm sure everybody can relate. Like, you had that one, like, major item, and then all of a sudden, one off. <laughs> it's weird. Okay, but anyway, so I have this, but I'm trying to decide what color I want the like toe and heel to be. So <laughs> I go ahead and show your options. I have a few options and I put it to a vote this to again. my family. <laughs> and so we briefly discussed our Christmas advent. So this is actually one of the colors that I received and I thought it would be perfect. So I was thinking, oh, this is bright. It'll look super cute. And the and color. there's orange in this colorway and a little bit of like a reddish pink. So this is by Explorer Knits and Fibers, this color right here, the orange, and it's called Indian Paintbrush Denali Sock. And so that's that's the color of this orange here. I think it's super pretty, bright, vibrant. It just, I mean, yeah, I, I love it. It's so beautiful. it is really pretty. And so this is an awesome color, thank you. And so it, this is oh, one nice. of the choices. Option one, guys. And then the second option is lime green. I mean, come on, everyone. Look at this. Really? <laughs> Why? Show your lime green. Your lime green. Oh, I, I really? was Really? I mean, it's it's real similar. She's, it's, it's not that similar. She's it's trying totally to be matchy different. matchy, guys. No. I mean, we're twins. No, we're no, not. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> but She's older. <laughs> yeah, I think we went over that too. We did. You don't have to keep beating a dead I horse mean, with a stick. I mean, when you say twins, I just got to put it out there. Uh, it's figuratively. Okay. <laughs> so this is also Explorer Knits and Fibers. And this color is called Lichen. And uh, she was very, like, earthy this year. And I love that. And it's super awesome. And so this is the, the color. Yarn so I can put it together. Not that one. This one? Yeah. Oh, okay. There you go. And so that's the other option, which I think is super bright and vibrant, but a little more low key than the orange. And oh, so, although in my opinion, this color is in this is in this game. It is versus this one's not so much. Right, it's more of a complementary color. Yeah, yeah. So, those are my two options. If you guys have your opinions, please vote. If you want to vote for the lime, don't be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Or the orange. <laughs> I'll vote for the orange. <laughs> yeah, I bet she will. Her vote doesn't count. Trust me. <laughs> All right. And so my last yes. work in progress. Your last whip. Yes. Is it's in a hokey bag. Yes. Oh, I didn't say any of the bags. So yeah, my aunt's cowl was in the fringe supply bag. They also don't make it anymore. But this was a uh, fiber space. My local yarn shops. Um, color for their store for we their love store fiber space they're yeah. awesome danielle's awesome so we went there um they had these so you had to go to the store specifically to get that colorway um my cozy sock knitter uh socks or cozy advent cozy knitter advent socks we're in i'll get there <laughs> we're in this bag it was it's by stash dash bags yeah i think again it's still pre stash dash but um, super cute. It's super Harry awesome. Potter because I love Harry Potter. She we, loves her. Yeah, we, we really do. Addicted. And then um, my grandpa's it's putting it mildly. Mildly. Sorry. It's the drink already. Yeah. Um, and then my grandpa socks were in my Sandy by the Lakeside bag. I love this bag. It's just so cute. It is su super cute. I just love it. So, and so my everyday slouchy beanie hat that we got from Tristan Molina. It's in my hokey bag. Um, I think it's the BA bag, but it's, it's pretty old and it's patinaed and everything. So I love it even more, mm -hmm. but we actually started this a while ago. <laughs> um, I was trying to not even talk about that I was right waiting now. on someone to, <laughs> you know, <laughs> catch up so we can keep moving on this, but she hasn't. 
And so the everyday slouchy beanie, basically it's a double brim. So you're gonna fold it over and then you'll knit it and then you'll close it up in the hat. And so I'm still towards, I'm still at the beginning. I'm still at the first brim. Um, <clears throat> and, I'll, and I'll try to remember mine for next time. Yeah, and so it's with the regular fingering yarn and mohair. And it's again, dragon hoard yarn, um, we her love yarn, her stuff. Tristan Molina, and it's her design oh. as well. And the colorway is Pumpkin King. Yeah, it's Pumpkin King. And so that's, that's the regular skein, and this is the mohair. So that's, that's my last uh, FO. I'm, I'm picking it back up because I'm determined to finish it. We're getting into the winter months. And um, yeah, I'm done waiting for this one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and work on it. It's all good. Yeah, it is. Then, then she won't be blaming me on another episode. I about still will. How, how it was my fault it that is I'm her done fault. And I did she's not finish not the socks. <laughs> <laughs> we both know the truth. You can't handle the truth. <laughs> so, I mean, it won't be done by the end of this weekend, but my goal is to get it done hopefully before yeah. the end of this, the winter season, but I I don't see that happening either. Right, right. Um, but yeah, so that's all of our whips. Uh, we'll go into life. So possible snow day coming up in the DC area. I'm excited because I mean, I actually have to physically go out and go to work. <laughs> but and so snow day, that means mm -hmm. I get a free day off. Hopefully, right? I mean, they might make me try to telework. They, try, <laughs> they might try to make me telework. I'm already teleworking, so it really doesn't affect me. Yeah. Yeah. So. But, oh, well, I mean, even if yeah. that's the case, but if I do get a snow day, I'm just going to sit and knit all day and watch all the podcasts because that's just what I do, and that'll just be fun, or I'll watch Blue Bloods. <laughs> I'm very, I'm on very American, I gotta catch up. big list. <laughs> yeah. It is. It's one of the two. I mean, so. she could have said, I'll look for my bread. Um, oh, there's <laughs> no hope for the bread. <laughs> I, I think I looked for it yesterday. I couldn't find it. And I think I thought about it on yesterday was Thursday. So I think I thought about it on Wednesday and I was just like, I don't I don't know. And and then yesterday I was like, where is that bread? Because I thought I put it someplace and I did I don't even know the story, guys. I don't know what happened to it. I, I'm some days I feel like I'm losing my mind, but so, so me, yeah. um, a whole lot hasn't been going on, but this is a crazy thing. So as you guys know, I told you I moved a few months ago and so slowly I'm getting there. So Tanika helps me put up this doorbell, right? I have one of those ring doorbells where oh, like yeah. <laughs> you, you, of course you can watch like it's what's going on. Yeah. Essentially, if not Google it, you'll figure it out. It's not that hard. <laughs> But anyway, so she helps me put it up, right? No, and no, I put it up. <laughs> it's not a help. I put it up. I helped with the switches, figuring out when the doorbell turned off. She and sat all that there stuff. and looked at the light to see <laughs> as I was flipping through her circuit breaker because it wasn't properly labeled <laughs> which one was connected. So we had to go through each of those buttons on the circuit breaker. You can imagine like a whole host of things were happening. So it was an interesting weekend that weekend. But anyway, so back to my crazy story. So of course this thing is like peppering me with blah, 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 this <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Cause there's just a lot of action where I live. And so finally at these most random times, like while I'm teleworking, there's like a ring. And so I like, I'm like, who's at my door? Like, I'm not expecting anybody. And so I look out the window and I see nothing. And so it happens like every day around the same time. And so finally yesterday, it happens again. I'm like, oh, what is this? So I, I race over to the window, right? And I look and I see this little bird prancing <laughs> across the thing. And I was like, you little bitch. Like that's who's ringing my doorbell. This is not broken, <laughs> sorry guys. Yes, my apologies. <laughs> Um, yeah, sorry. Some, but sometimes we will curse. That's what came through my mind. I was like, you little, you know? And so I was like, oh, I'm going to have to get you, like, not in a bad way, but, like, figure out a way to put a cover on that sucker so humans can use it, but not animals that are super smart, like birds who have nothing else to do with their time and just want to terrorize me. <laughs> 
How did this become about her? <laughs> just saying. I mean, literally, it's just ringing the doorbell just a couple saying. times. Really? <laughs> but usually, when you ring the doorbell, a person gets up to go see who's there. And so, yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, me and the bird. It's on. I got your number. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let, let's see Seriously. that happen. Right. Other, other than that, that's really kind of the action that I had this so week. Cute little <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, it's actually kind of funny. I actually would love it and give it props. You know, I probably pay it to do that every day. Of course, because that's not a sister thing to say. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm okay with Just it. Just saying. Yeah, so uh, nothing much else going on with life yeah. right now. You yeah. can see the views a little bit different. We're at our parents' house. Yep. Um, they stay in our bubble. Yep. They live close. We live close together. Yes. Not too far, so um, we're constantly spending time with them. Right. But and it's Sibnid and travel, and we can't go too far, so we thought we'd try to switch up the locations for you guys. Yeah, so, at least. so this is our travel, <laughs> right. I guess. Right. Um, but yeah, they're at work, so yeah, we're not taking over their house. Yeah. It's yeah, fine. especially since it's not ours and we don't. Well, we right. still have to clean, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, y'all know. Right. <laughs> we still have to clean. <laughs> right, right. That um, never ends. But it is the end of January. It's yes. January 29th today. Yes. Hopefully, my goal is to have this up by the end of this weekend. Hope. Um, but yeah, so we're creeping into Black History Month yes. into February. February. Um, we have some ideas of things we're going to do for the next video to kind of embrace Black History Month. Yeah, because um, if you can't tell, we're of color. Maybe. Just some a people, little bit. Some people, I mean, they can't see color, so. I mean, yeah, you have been asked if you were other ethnicities. Oh, goodness. But Here they still go. do mix it with, you know, black. But, we're and months. I mean, I guess I what have to. What can too. we say? But, yeah, so we'll definitely... We'll definitely embrace that and talk yeah. about that. But we want to talk about it more next month yes. when we... We have some surprises Yeah, for you guys, so, so when we get into it, we, we definitely yeah. will show you. First... Oh, go ahead. Go I'm ahead. sorry. So first I want to say, yeah, we love, we love all people. We love all cultures. We love all walks of life. But we do think it's important to highlight, you know, um, all cultures. So, yeah, Black History Month, yep. like she said, is coming up. I mean, it, it's definitely, clearly, something... We identify we with, identify with yeah. and it's important to us. Of course. Um, and so, I mean, we, we embrace it every day of the year. Yeah. Every single day. It's not just the shortest month. Right. Of the year. <laughs> Bitter party of one. Bitter party <laughs> of one. Uh, we do get the shortest month, so I'm just saying. Oh, my goodness. But we I We don't mean, have time for that conversation. We don't. We don't. We don't. And, I mean... <laughs> I won't go into my tirade of <laughs> education system, things like that, things we've learned or didn't learn in school. <laughs> I'll leave that away. I'll leave that to the side. Yeah. But my point is, um, I'm happy that we have this platform that we're able to talk about it and embrace it and yeah. do what we want with it. And so we're please stay along for the ride. We yeah. have a lot of fun things coming up in February. Yes. And it's a chance to bridge the gap. So. It is. And so yeah. we're trying to do our part. Uh, to help us progress um, to infinite love. Yes. There we go. You see how I brought that in? <laughs> Hold on a minute. <laughs> that was a plug. <laughs> hey, hey, I got to do it somewhere. Right. But right, right. Um, yeah, I mean, other than that, I don't have anything else really to talk about. Do no, you? No. Oh, please subscribe if you love us. Love us because, yeah. So I mean, please take this opportunity to su subscribe. We appreciate it. Yeah. Um, if you have any questions, you want to get in touch with us. Yes. Please feel free to contact us. Reach out. I'm probably a little bit more responsive than this one, but you know, we'll work on her. We'll get there. I uh, mean, I'm just unique in that way. I can't help it. You know, some, she is unique. <laughs> some kids, so story. So you know, most parents they like ground you. They take away things and. Just it's a safe bet with girls we love communication um they have a phone you would take that away for me that didn't necessarily work because i don't like the phone anyway so and it's actually funny because see our parents were slightly creative in punishments as kids yeah they were and so they for, had to be so for my punishment because i love staying home <laughs> was they kicked me out the house and, and they, they and they made me play outside <laughs> 
<laughs> that was my punishment. Like it, it was a true punishment. I was like, yeah. it's hot. I don't want to get dirty. Like not for me. Yeah, I was not feeling it. They're like, Mary, stay in the house. Yep. Ah! And I was like, or Mary, read a book. <laughs> Because I always had the book. I was always ready. I wanted to stay in, read my book, or watch TV, or play a game. Yeah. And I, it's I was more games. the creative and athletic one. Yeah, she was I always mean, outside. Yeah. Playing. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess that's a little yeah, background story. Yeah, a little As tidbit. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? All right, well, mm. um, yeah, so you learned a little bit about us. Stay tuned yeah. to watch us make our drinks that we are currently drinking. Thanks for joining the Palm Beach. us. Yes, thanks Palm for joining Beach us again. Is awesome. It is absolutely delicious. Don't leave us yet. And um, I'm going to say it should have a little bit more gin. Yeah, because we have the video of that coming up. And because I love gin. And she loves Jen. If you didn't catch that in the last video and this video, she loves Jen. And feel free to tell us your favorite uh, drinks yeah. or alcohol because we'd love to make those or incorporate those. Yeah, please put it below. Yeah. We'd love to um, hear about it. We'll give you a shout out. Yep. You know? Thank you. And one of these days, my friend Sonia suggested the poncho mm -hmm. or mm. poncho. So we'll definitely do that one day. But yes. thank you all. And uh, please subscribe and like, and we will see you next time. All right. See you soon. Again, <laughs> I don't know what it is.